Hello there, everybody, and welcome to GTFO. Like you would think it sounds, it's pretty much telling you to get the fuck out. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing with some bots. My friends are asleep, so I can't play with them right now. Now, I'm going to bring my burst sentry. Everyone's going to get a burst sentry. Their loadouts are going to stay because I already know what I'm doing. Though I'm going to bring some things that just have a single use. And you can actually skip this part by holding a button, but because this will be my first episode of GTFO, I'm gonna let it show. Like, I mean, freaky, right? And the number that's twitching out in the bottom right-hand corner there, in the 50s, that's my frames. When I'm playing with my friends and doing a different level, a lot of the times, for some odd reason, my frames wig out. I don't even know if anybody can hear me over what the hell noise is going on. The wiggly bling wing. Yeah, see, my frames are down to, like, 20, 10... have the baby. At least I swear it's a baby. So the first thing you want to do is look around your initial area for anything like these. Lockers. Oh, that's lovely. I'm going to use one on myself right now. Top up hack it here. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, and that clicking is my annoying opponents, but first... I'm gonna lower the overall music volume so it's not as loud. Oh, I didn't... those actually... did not know that those were there. So talking, you're fine. Hello, hello. Yeah. You're gonna bust that lock, aren't you, Bishop? Nope, you're just gonna mark the door. So what you have to do is you got to sneak up on these guys while they are asleep. Wind up your hammer. Give him a little smack. Now, had I had waited until he was actually not woken up, there was a good chance that I could have gotten through that without my friend using his gun. But... That doesn't always happen. And you want to leave your flashlight off when these guys are near. They are reactive to movement and light. More so light. See how I didn't wake him up this time? He wasn't reacting. There's two. There's a third one. Nobody's there. I don't have eyes on many more. Hey, sleepers. No way down. We'd be overrun in no time. 
yeah, you see the sleepers? That's what these things are called. The really nasty looking... We'll call them infected humans. Alright, let's see. Anybody else by the entrance that I didn't open? No. Alright. So after you've cleared an area, your best bet is to loot. Now I'm playing with bots. You can play completely solo. And if asked to, you know what, I'll totally do it. Use one on myself. Give one to Bishop just because I like Bishop. Thank you. Welcome. Now I am curious of something. Query zone 43. I'm curious of something. List zone 43D. Yeah, I didn't think it would look for something. Yeah, I didn't think so. I like to l see if you're able to actually see items ahead of time, like say I did for zone 45. Nothing. Oh, hey, look at that. It worked. I just wasn't using the underscore. That is good to know. So that lets me know that there is a locker, two boxes, two more lockers, ammo, medi, and tool. That is good. So let's trigger Dum Dum. Hey, I have a way to unlock that door for you. But you have to do something for me first. There's a terminal near you. I need you to type in something for me. Type in... Wait. Where is it? Where, where did I... Oh, here! <clears throat> uh, recycle group 7A42, okay? Recycle group 7A42. Time to get the revolution started. <laughs> Now, there's a deep story when it comes to that revolution he's talking about. But let's see here. Resource, resource. There's always at least one locker or box. Yep. Fog repeller. Useful in later stages, but not this one. Like the name implies, you go and toss it into a room that's fogged up. There we go. Executing command. Now everybody stands here. And there are times where the bot... I've come across this in a couple of levels. Where the bots themselves will not stand in the scan. Now, if you do come across that, you're going to have to quit and reload. It sucks losing progress, but it happens. Alrighty. So, let's see if I can list Zone 43D. Zone underscore 43D. Curiosity kills me. So, from what that's telling me is there probably is no items in this room. But there are enemies. Plus, there could also be artifacts. I don't know if the actual terminal will tell you about that. See, we got enemies. Okay, we got this ugly guy here, that ugly guy there. I'm gonna swing around. Sleepers. 
I'm gonna wait until he's asleep. See, he was awake, but he was just out of earshot of him. Okay, I'm clearly seeing a locker. I'm gonna go back. So how did I get that one? List zone underscore 43. Let's see what happens if I do that. Okay, so that's all of the things in that specific area. That's good to know. Wait, hold up. What? Is there still somebody here? No, he's through that door. Okay. I did not loot Gremlin. I did not loot Gremlin. Thank you. Oh, would not have noticed that. Thank you. We got glow sticks. Okay. Okay, so you cannot queue up a list for a specific subzone. That's good to know. I'm going to replace my glow sticks with that. Just because. So, this is a learning experience also for me and my friends. Because this is going to help us figure out how many items... Or how many things are actually in a specific zone when we're playing. Okay, this guy here. See how his head looks... Can you get out of my view? See how his head looks like a bunch of postuling zits? He is a ranged opponent. Alright, sweet. That just leads back down there. We don't have to worry about that door. Alright, and this area is clear. I have not seen an artifact yet. Fair point, though. I'm not really buzzing around looking. I know I'll find at least one artifact in the next area. take that just in case now if you open a locker and walk away from it when your bots are close by they will pick up any items you have there so if you're wanting to strategically place them over here please step into the bio scan i hate to say it you're screwed Use. Good job. I'm gonna wake up Maddox first. He's a clever one. Mechanically minded. Might be able to make us tools or or even weapons. Okay. Here goes. Here. Here. And pull here. Open. Oh. Come on. You come. Uh, oh, hey, my head. Maddox? Uh, uh, oh, what's wrong with you? Uh, uh, maybe you should sit down. Uh, oh. uh, get off of me! Uh, don't! Maddox! Uh, Stick you again if I have to. No. Maddox. What did I do? Why did 
you make me do that? I... I have to... Check my notes. Yeah, you go do that. So yeah, there's some backstory to go on there. Now, we have to go to this door to trigger it to figure out where the red key card 66 is. So we come back to the computer. Key red 66. Zone 47. List zone 47. Lots of doors, the key card, and quite a lot of lockers in that entire area. So that's 47 right there. That was what I needed to, right? Yep. So now, these that I've been picking up, they're the artifacts. And you can see that they're slightly different. So the diamond is muted, the pink one is bold, and the red one, the first one I found, is aggressive. The aggressive ones are the absolute rarest. And in order to obtain a boost from it, you need to actually have a 1.00%. Alright, so what I'm going to do... They will come through that door. But, this is an alarm door. Luckily, it's one of the easier alarm doors. You see them all switch to their guns. And it took us over here, so the turrets are starting to do their job. Uglies. Bad. These guys look darker skinned. I have noticed that some of them are lighter skinned, and some are darker skinned. Now, if it's anything like some of the older games that I've played, when they do that, it just means that they're about to get stronger. Now, cool thing is, didn't run out of a lot of ammo through that. So, if I'm able to find the key card rather quick... Ooh. Aggressive artifact. Thank you, thank you. That is quite lovely to see. It's a little disconcerting that there's no enemies in this area here. Okay, so you see how its progress is 1.24? That there means I'm going to obtain a muted artifact. Or a, mu a muted booster. <laughs> Found them all. Sleepers. Really wish you guys Don't wouldn't do that. Wake them. We'll call their friends, and we'll be in deep shit. Oh, there is no way I'm getting out of this. Shit. How did you two not wake up? I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, but still. Concerned about the shooter rather than the melee dude or melee. I 
I'm not even sure how I'm not waking these guys up. It's kind of funny that they can die from being hit in the ass. Okay, anybody down here? No, okay. Bingo bongo! I don't even have to actually continue looting. And given my current status on supplies... I'm gonna just move forward. Now, don't get me wrong. Doing a full clear and loot, if you got it down packed on how to actually uh, kill your enemies quietly without getting caught, that's good. Alright. Now. I'm actually making record time. I was expecting it to take longer. Getting a spicy room? That's concerning for a later door. Nope. We got sleepers. Okay, let me kill these three and then I'll explain why I'm going who to that guy over there. get up close enough. And that is just disgusting how they dissolve. Okay, I'm just gonna play it safe, wait till he goes asleep. Alright. I hear a lot of you, but that guy there is a bigger version of that guy. No! How are you still alive? Okay, now I could have handled that a hell of a lot better. I uh, didn't want it. Alright, so... I got a lock melter. These are cool. Any lock. It immediately breaks it. Oh. I'm taking that. That is useful for later. This area is one that you want to clear out. <coughs> High-powered flashlight. Those are better later. Sleepers. Don't make a sound. How did you guys not pick up any fucking glow sticks? Oh, I don't like that. There we go. Oh yeah, I made him mad. I wasn't reloaded. Yeah, them big guys are nasty. You get the opportunity to take them out quick, take them out quick. But make sure you take out all the little guys, too. I cannot stress that enough. Alright, this... I'm gonna... Let's see here. 87. 67. Alright. 
No, not on my side. Would you stop? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you stop running around like a jackrabbit? God, I swear they run around like they're friggin' bunnies during mating season. Okay, nothing up there. Um, this would have been a perfect example for that fog repeller. Because you throw it down here, it would literally suck up all of that fog. No more fog. And that took me around to the front. Alright, now we go this way. Alright, there are tiny dudes all over the place here, so that's good. glow sticks. You know, can one of you guys pick up those glow sticks, please? Like, that would be greatly appreciated. You've done it before. And you can't order them to pick something up. It's the only annoyance I really have with them. Okay. See, he had a lock melter. And I am surprised that that scream they let out doesn't actually alert anybody. Okay, those are just lock melters. That's fine. Thanks for, uh... Marking the door. That was me. He's just going to run all the way around to get to me. Oh, surprising there's not a supply box there this time. Holy shiza. Yeah, I'd be saying that too, because that's just disgusting. Now, the AIs are pretty good at coming up on you if you've accidentally made somebody angry. Like how I almost made him angry. Thanks. No, definitely, thank you. We're gonna med pack two uses. Let's hack this one up. Did not notice the artifact, so thank you for still being in the room with me there, buddy. Greatly appreciated. Oh. Thanks. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Is I'm gonna place my sentry gun facing this way. Then I'm gonna queue up sentry his sentry gun. I will do it. Thank you. Now, all of you back in here, please. There we go. Now I'm gonna close this door. Dada. God, you're an idiot. Because we have another alarm door. 
This one's a class three. So it's gonna split. You hear that? Sounds like a pack. So after we do this one, it's, it's gonna close. go and split into four. It's basically like a three tier. So follow the line. Why are you guys shooting? Oh, the door already got broke open. Cool. Alright. No, this one's mine. Okay. Pick up your deployables. Yes. Okay. So now, I'm going to set one up here. That's where I'm going to place mine. We're at the end of the level. Okay, through this big area, not too big of a worry. I can set one... Here, facing inward. Sentry here. Yes. I should have waited so I could refill them, but I'm not too worried because this level's not horrible. After you get used to it, it's not horrible, anyways. Anyone got a lock melter? What did I make angry? Where the hell was he? Eh, whatever. Alright. Sentry gun here. I'm gonna Ideally. place one there. And then you're going to set one here. Yes. Then I'm going to grab this because I am the only human player, so I'm the only one that can grab it, which is kind of stupid. And I got to take it all the way to the end, to the door I just opened. Don't you love it? I love it a lot. All right. Now, I set those turrets up like that because me and my friends, when we play together, we have a strategy. I may not have set them up in the exact way that he, my friend sets them up, but it still works really good. And that seafoam grenade I'm holding is useful. Also, if someone's got a seafoam launcher, it can help when you're barricading areas. Every, every level is different, though. Like, as an example... I'm going to drop this here. That door is still shut. This is the one I went through. I always see foam this one. Cool looking, right? The reason I always see foam that one... Ugh. I don't even want to know what's underneath that glass. It's because they usually try to break through there. Kind of like how they did to this one here. There's no enemies past this door, so you're safe to just kind of go in all willy-nilly. Now there's a couple things to note in here. There's always three boxes. Whether it's going to be a locker, or these kinds of boxes, sometimes there's four. Alright, so opening that, there's an ammo pack. In here, there's a med kit. I'm just going to leave it to the bots to grab and divvy. Lost one. Ah, I would have missed that one completely. And there's a tool pack, which is useless now because I've already deployed our tools. 
That's why I usually wait until you come into this room after. Now, just looking around, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. And the last thing of note before I put the neonate in there is on this terminal here. You notice how it says there are two available logs in this terminal. That's lore. Type in logs, and you get the CJ9 GVT ERB. There's the blurb. Plus, you can have an audio file. I'm not going to play the audio file. Now, since I've opened those lockers, I wonder. Because I'm in zone... Oh, screw off. I'm curious. Box and CRO2. Box, locker, tool, refill, and terminal. So wait, does that mean there's a tool refill just laying around, or did the tool refill not get picked up? Okay, it just didn't get picked up. But it didn't mention the med kit. What? Huh. So does that mean there's extra laying around that I don't know about? I will have to double check that later. For now, let's finish the level and go for a heck and run. So you toss that in there. And it's woken up the neighborhood. Now, the only thing that sucks with this is you cannot run with it. You have to rely on your bots. I didn't close the doors. I did not close the doors. That was on my bad. You always want to close the doors on your way back. Oh boy. Let the bots catch up. I'm gonna try to lumber through. You don't want to wait to watch the fireworks. I didn't close that door. Okay, the three of you are still good. We just gotta get the neonate into there. And once it scans to 100, you win. Easy peasy. Of course I'm unstable. Dot is the only one that's stable, and that's a surprise. So now when I go back to lobby, you'll see I'll get my my booster. Need an axe and access. So we can go there. And it gives me hacking skill. Which is useful. But I hope you enjoyed GTFO. 
as we clear the other levels, I may come through again with more just run-throughs with it, ways to get through the level quickly, but it's up to you how you and your friends jump through it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!